Yes, in this video, we will see the basic logic of a binary search tree. So, what is a binary search tree? Already we know what is meant by binary tree. In a binary tree, there will be 1, 0, 1 or maximum of 2 children only, not more than that. It cannot have, it is, if, if this is a tree, the, this is a no, parent, uh, let us take this as a parent no. In this parent no, it can have only 2 children. It cannot have 3 children. This is a parent no, it, it is having 2 children, not more than that. Even it can have only 1 children or 0 children. Here if you see this, it does not have any children, that is 0 children. Uh, if you leave this, then only uh, let us imagine this is not existing. Then it has only 1 children. That is also allowed. So, in a binary tree, uh, a parent can have 0, 1 or 2 children only, not more than that. This is the strict rule of a binary tree. In a binary search tree, uh, the data, the key which we are storing in each node should follow such a rule. What is the rule? Here, uh, this is the parent of these two nodes. These are all the children of this. So, what is the rule? The k which is present here should be greater than the left, left child and it should be it should be less than the left child and it should be greater than the right child. This is the logic. Once again, I repeat, the key values in the parent node must be greater than the left child and lesser than the right child. It means the left child should be lesser and the right child should be greater than the value which is stored in the Paranoid. So, if you say it here also, see this, this is a left child which has a value lesser than the parent and 8 is greater than the parent. Same way here, if you see that 18, this is a parent node of these two. This value, the left child is lesser than this and right child is uh, greater than the parent. So, this is the strict logic which has to be followed other than the binary tree property. So, this can have, this is, this is said to be called binary search tree the basic operations that can be performed on a binary tree is first you have to create a tree for that you have to do insertion so to insertion you will be creating the tree and if you want to add more to this existing tree also you can use the insert then search search for an element suppose i want to search this then for, for that we have to write an algorithm which searches the uh, particular element in the tree then pre-order traversal in order traversal and post-order traversal which are help to visit the nodes and print the values in the respective nodes one more strict rule is it should duplicate keys are not allowed say for example here is 10 again 10 should not come that is called duplicate only one key there must be a unique key in the nodes so this is the logic of the binary search tree now let us take an example for insertion to be clear so say this is the element the order of the element is this so whichever element you are inserting first that will become the root node so all of you know what is root this is the root these are all the child these are all the grandchildren these are all said to be children and this is the parent of this and this is the parent of these two so and so on these are all the edges and this is said to be nodes so now let us imagine we are creating first element is 50 so we make that as a root node the next element is 80 since it is greater than this root node this node it has to be inserted as a right child so now we are inserting the right child next comes a value 30 now again we check with the root since it is lesser than the root we insert it as a left child then the next value is 20. Now we check with the root node. Since it is less than the root node, now we move left. Here we check the next data. Here also the next node. This is also left child. This is also less than. So this will be inserted as a left child of this node. Now the next value is 100. Now we check with the root. Always you have to check with the root before inserting anything. Based on that you take direction left or right. So 100 is greater than 50 which means it has to be inserted in the right of the root node. Then you check the next right child. Here again it is greater than. So this has to be inserted at the right child of this. Then comes a 75. Again you check. It is greater than that. So it is. it must be inserted as a right child. 
So now you check it is lesser than this para node. So it will be inserted as a left shell. Then 25. Again you check here it is lesser. So go to the left node. Again it is lesser. So go to the left node. But here it is greater. So go to its right node and insert it as a right node. Then 50. Now again check 50. It is lesser. So you move left. It is lesser than that. So you move left of this. Again, when you check this, it is lesser than this. So you have to insert it as a left shell. This is how you insert. So if you see this uh, insert operation, that is algorithm. First, what you have to do, create a node with a value and set its left and right to null. Here for our easy understanding, I have given the circle. But normally it will have a three, uh, just like a linked list, singly linked list. It has three information, three fields. One is the information field, and after that, it will have a pointer field. Before that, also it will have a pointer field where the before pointer is pointing to the uh, left shell, and the next uh, pointer is pointing to its right shell. So initially, we create a node and make its left and right to be null. Check whether the tree is empty or not. If it is empty, the newly created node will be the root. If the tree is already existing, then check whether a value of the new node is smaller or larger than the root first root node. If a new node is smaller than or equal to the node, move to its child. So that node will be considered as parent and it will be checked whether the value of the given element to be inserted is greater than the parent or node. If so, move it to its left child. If the new node is larger than the node, move to its right child. And you have to repeat the process until we reach to a leaf node. So that is what we have done so far.